the word ethos. E T H O S. Ethos. Truth. Honesty. Integrity. Dignity. During the era of the Aristotle, Aristotle, when they were writing about democracy and the kind of society they wanted, the kind of leader they wanted, who were truthful. And during the Roman times, those who are familiar with the history of Carthage, the current Tunisia, you know that the Hannibal who was ruling Carthage, they conquered, conquered the wrong Hannibal, conquered the wrong and they ruled it for 60 years before he was betrayed by his colleagues. Of, of office. And the Romans were very serious with the question, why, why when you are appointed to an office, why are you sworn in? Were you sworn in by the, your regular commissioner? Why were you sworn in? Is it just a formality? The Romans began with the, the question of off taking. You know, those who built Rome, Romans and the Romans were two brothers. And they made a declaration that there was a decree by them that anybody who will not be inside the end of Rome, it was walled in. By 12 in the evening, by, 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 by 6 o'clock, he will be punished, punishable by death. And the first person not to observe that declaration was Romus's brother, Romus. And so the Romans were sitting there waiting, what will he do to his brother? Will he enforce? That the court, you have to be home by six. The first person who breaks that court, codification, so now we will call it law. But law is the codifying behavior. The first person to break that court was the wrong sister brother, is the young brother. So, what do you think the Romans did? Anybody who breaks that law punishes it by death. You know what? Romans faced, he was punished death. And they killed him. So, if he could kill his own brother, how about you? And that's why in his last days, in 1995, I think, that he, he, when it comes to the question of leadership, even if somebody doesn't have a religion, we will have to swear him in office. So that when he, he breaks, he does not take observe the oath of office. We will set Yet Hannibal ruled Rome only for 
six years and he was betrayed by corruption of his colleagues. This was the issue of corruption is serious. So let's just go back of my paragraph. Malibu was very serious. On the question of leadership, ethics, and the communication, it's there. The class is a little bit. The first paragraph, in the selection of the presidential and the vice presidential candidates, when you are in such a, you are looking for candidates of office, what kind of person in the country what kind of person is the country needing? Simply because some say I want to be president and they go to oh, please check the phones. And what is the thing? Five million, here you are, even if crooks. So you took it seriously. What kind of person is the country needing and they're looking for? What kind of questions should CCM our party? Like in 1915, no, 2015, when Community Quetta was coming to the end of tension, 10 years, we needed some. There were several candidates competing for office. Yet the lower staff say, you and the, the other guys say, you have members. Some of them, when, when they were not picked, they even left the party. So these are serious questions. What kind of person is the country needing and looking for? What kind of questions? Should you see CCM and the other party members? What kind of questions should CCM be asking themselves about the persons who they hope will be the next office bearers? And for whom they will be campaigning? Hey, you are getting, uh, we are having elections. Uh -huh. What kind of persons do, do you want to be elected to the various offices which will be contested, which will be people will be competing for? Chama Chama Pinduzi. Comrade, you are the group leader. And next year we have the primary. No, 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 we have local elections. How do you get the candidates? In Zimbabwe, how do you get the candidates? ANC, how do you get the candidates? MPLA, how do you get the candidates?